Hello and welcome to our second lesson on hotkeys. In this lesson, we're going to go over a couple more note input hotkeys that we didn't look at in the last lesson. We'll be looking at triplets, chords, voices, and note heads. So let's start with triplets then, shall we? To create a triplet or similar, we simply select our note and press Control and the number that we wish to represent as a rhythmic proportion. For example, Control plus the number 3 produces a triplet, Control plus the number 5 produces a quintuplet, Control plus the number 7 would produce a septuplet, and so on. And if I so desire, it is possible to nest these rhythmic proportions within one another. For example, if I select a note or rest in my septuplet, I can then press CTRL-3 to create a triplet within my septuplet. Now sometimes you need, for example, triplets for an entire passage. And one way of doing this is to create a triplet, and then copy and paste that triplet over the desired duration. And then go back and enter in the notes that you require. However, there is a much better way of doing this. We first create a triplet by pressing CTRL-3, and now we press SHIFT-ALT-K. By doing this, you're telling Sibelius that you wish to continue writing in triplets. To stop writing in triplets, you just hit SHIFT-ALT-K again. To create chords, we have to create intervals above or below a note. And to do this, we use the numbers along the top of the keyboard corresponding to that interval. For example, to create a pitch a third above my note, I press the number 3. To create a fourth, I press the number 4, and so on. To create intervals underneath my note, I hold SHIFT and then enter my interval number. And this can be combined with accidentals. If, for example, above a C, I wish to add an E flat, I first press the flat hotkey, the number 9 on my keypad, and then the number 3 towards the top of my keyboard. Another important feature in Sibelius are the four different coloured voices that can be used in a staff. Blue, green, orange, and pink. Now obviously, one way of changing one voice to another is to click down the bottom of the keypad window. However, we can shortcut this by pressing ALT and the voice number that we require. For example, if I want to turn the blue voice into the orange one, I would first select the blue voice and then press ALT 3. Working with multiple voices in a single staff can get frustrating quickly, and so hotkeys can help make this process a bit more tolerable. And we'll be discussing these voices in a bit more depth in a later lesson of our tutorial. In music notation, we sometimes also require different sorts of note heads, particularly if we're working with percussion or drums or with contemporary music. Thankfully, Sibelius also has a shortcut for this. We hold down SHIFT and ALT and then enter a number. SHIFT ALT 0 produces a normal note head. SHIFT ALT 1 produces a crossed note head. SHIFT ALT 2 produces a diamond note head. And so on. For the full list of note heads, go to the Notations tab and click on Note Heads Type. Now, if you do a lot of jazz engraving, a note head that you will find particularly useful is this one here. Now, there's one last hotkey that I would like to show you for this lesson, and it allows us to jump a note from one staff to another on multiple staffed instruments. For example, in piano notation, we often find our notes crossing from one staff to the other as they are here. To do this, we select our note or passage, hold down CTRL SHIFT, and press either the up or down arrow. And we can also do this with instruments that have an ossia staff. So 
So that's all for this lesson. In the next one, we're going to be expanding our hotkey horizon to some other Sibelius features.